Ma Gisconti reporting. It turns out, look at this, the Democrats have a new strategy to try to win the election, try to win elections. They're actually still, rather than cheat, right? If they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat. But if they can't cheat, they got a new strategy. They're going to buy the election. They're actually going to buy blacks, right? We're going back to, you're gonna, they're going to purchase blacks. You think I'm making it up? No, they're not. Camilla Harris and uh, Elizabeth Warren have publicly s- signed on to reparation, reparation to blacks for 400 years of slavery. I'm not making it up. You got to believe this. So the strategy is, and it'll cost the country trillions of dollars in reparation fees to blacks who were taken advantage of or whatever during slavery. So here, just jump right into it. So here, the Hill is the Hill is reporting, right? It's the Hill, is that what it is? Yeah, the Hill. Warren Harris back reparations for Black Americans affected by slavery. <laughs> Can't make it up. Democratic uh, Senator Camilla Harris. And both, by the way, this is right here, disqualifier for both of these. Elizabeth Warren already with the Indian nonsense. But Camilla Harris is racist. Look at this shit. Watch this shit. Democratic Senator Camilla Harris and Elizabeth Warren, who are both running for president, have reportedly said they support reparations for black Americans affected by slavery. New York Times reported Thursday that Harris affirmed her support for reparations in a statement after agreeing last week in, uh, with a radio host that reparations are, quote, necessary. Ooh, here she goes. Quote, we have to be honest that people in this country do not start from the same place or have access to the same opportunities, Harris said in the statement. I'm serious about taking an approach that would change policies and structures and make real investment in black communities. Well, is it, is it an investment in black communities or is it transfer of wealth to blacks? Because that's the initial argument in reparation, what it is. And I'll play the clip. We'll talk about, we'll look at the, the number one racist Louis Farrakhan speech on reparation. Warren has also said she supports reparations, according to the Times. Though her campaign, her campaign declined to provide further details to the newspaper. See, they're playing, they're playing into the, uh, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do blacks like that, right? The ignorant masses, the ignorant black will say, oh, so look, they're going to pay me. Fucking, I like it. You want me to vote for you, and then we'll suck trillions of dollars out of the, uh, out of the treasury, right? We'll just print money. What the fuck? Who cares, right? It's America. We don't give a shit about that. They treated us badly. We were slaves, right? So we'll take those trillions of dollars away from the treasury, and then we'll put it in our pockets, reparation, right? Because our great, 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 grandparents were slaves. So they owe us reparation. They owe us something. They owe us money. They owe us land. That's what reparation is. The Hill reached out to both campaigns for comment. Has reached out to both. Neither one responded. Warren and Harris are both pursuing Democratic nominations for 2020, and the Times noted that previous Democratic presidential candidates have not supported reparations. Among those have not backed the policy of former President Obama, 2016 Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, and her Democratic rival Bernie Sanders. So nobody, Sanders, Clinton, or Obama, none of them, back this this idea. So forget about Obama, forget about Clinton. But Obama but clearly Sanders does not back this ridiculous <clears throat> idea of reparation, right? The Times noted Sanders is running for president, right? Supporters have said the policy is necessary to address slavery and other racist parts of US history. Such a move could cost several trillion dollars according to experts. Wow. So Let's look at Camilla Harris. Is she a racist? No, nah, right? No, nah, come on. She's born. She's just half black, right? She, her mother was J- J- Jamaican, whatever. So where did she go to school? Let's take a look. Ah, Howard University. Howard University. What a fine school Howard University is, right? Now, what is the racial makeup of Howard University? Right, here it is. 0.8% American Indian. <laughs> Less than 1%. 
uh, 1%, 1.5% Asian, 95.3% Black African Americans, 0.5, half, less than half a percent Hispanic, and uh, one. Uh, 1.5, 1.9% white. <laughs> so two out of 100, 95 out of 100 are black. Uh, she's not a racist. She she picked, uh, so so throughout history, right, is that what the civil rights was all about? That we, we want to we wanna bring our cultures together. We want to bring people together, right? And Camilla Harris, running for the highest office uh, in our nation, decided that she would go to an all-black school. All black. We'll call it all black, right? So that's Camilla Harris, right? So l- let's look at uh, what is reparations. But then in point number four, he says, we, we believe that those of us whose parents, you know, have been here for 400 years, <laughs> you know, and uh, we believe that uh, you have offered us integration as a hypocritical trick to make us believe that our 400-year-old enemy has now become our friend. We believe that this is the time in history for separation. And he said, since we can't get along with you in peace, see, then we think what we've contributed to America, we should have some of this earth that we can call our own. So we need eight or ten states with an outlet to the sea. And we want you to supply our needs in this separate territory for the next 20 or 25 years until we can go for ourselves. Eight to 10 states. Wow. Which states are you going to give up? You're going to take, why don't you take, uh, take the ones in the middle? No, no, no. Take the, uh, take the ones down South. What are you going to do? Take New York, take which states, eight states and, and provide for 20 years. Now, I had a talk at Harvard with that man, the senator that died, Moynihan. He had talked about birth control among blacks, and I went to Harvard, and we had a little debate. And uh, I told Mr. Moynihan that, you know, we wanted to be separated from you. We don't see you giving us no justice. So we want some of this earth that we can call our own. We don't see you giving us nothing. What about earning it? Ever, does that ever cross, occur to you? And I was telling him that we were willing to go in the underbrush and cut the underbrush down and fell the trees and, and build a nation of our own. And I was telling the Honorable Elijah Muhammad what I told Mona, and he said, stop, you were doing all right till you got to that part. He said, you don't tell the white man that you're willing to go back and cut no underbrush. We already did that once. If we have to do it again, that's not progress. Hell no. Get out of the cities and the towns that we helped you build. Go and find some other state to move in. You move out, we move in. You move out, we move in. So it wasn't, they wanted, first they want to take your land. Right? That's, that's reparation, right? Take your land. Give us something. Give us eight states. No, no, no. Better yet, we're just going to, we're just going to take we're just going to take the states and then you move out and go somewhere else. Now, wait a minute. You say, oh, come on, Farrakhan, that's a pipe dream. Well, damn, you better put it in your pipe then. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got you something better start in his pipe. smoking what this is. Because that mess that you're talking ain't making no damn sense. Right. You're going to wait around here another hundred years so they can bamboozle you some more? That's right. He said, well, eight or ten states, let them go out, we go in, and let them take care of us in that separate territory for the next 20 to 25 years. You say, oh, come on, Farrakhan, they won't do that. Listen, they've been taking care of Israel for 55 years. They've given Israel over a hundred billion of your tax dollars. Let's listen to that again. I agree there. they've been taking care of Israel for 55 years. They've given Israel over a hundred billion of your tax dollars and Israel haven't done nothing for them. You mean to tell me we who built the country, we who fought, bled and died to maintain the country, we who gave it art and culture and season it 
And you know we can't get along with you in peace as long as we want equal justice. Hell no, we can't wait for you to change. We want a nation. We want to be able to prepare a future for our children. We don't now think about think about the uh, the, the Cov- Covington situation where the racist blacks were pushing the white kids on the on the at the Lincoln at the uh, yeah Lincoln Monument right and now look where it comes from see this is the school of this is the same kind of sort of school of thought Louis Farrakhan the great racist of the uh, 60s 70s 80s. <laughs> of Negroes who can't do nothing for the masses of our people. We need land and territory that we can call our own. So reparation got to be on the agenda. Reparations got to be on the agenda. We need land, Man. Mr. President. Mr. President. You got all this Federal Reserve land. What you reserving it for? Yeah, we need cash. Hell yeah, print some more. Print some more. But I ain't gonna give it to you in your foolish state. What are you gonna do with twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars? But give it right back to the enemy. It ain't about money. It's about that which will prepare a future for you and your children. You're not gonna be on welfare for the rest of your life. You're not going to be out here scrounging and begging white people for a job for the rest of your life. But if you got land that you can build a real world out of it for yourself. So the Honorable Elias Muhammad said, well, I put it there. They may never give it to you. They ain't going to give it to you. Damn right. (laughs) So... Marcus Conti reporting on this crazy story, right? So repara- reparation, reparation. The president turns out one of the presidential candidates in the Democratic Party. You can scratch her off the list, right? Once people realize what kind of a hypocrite and a racist she is, right? This is she went to an all black school, school of thought that loves Louis Farrakhan and and the like, Malcolm X, right? Those are all great black leaders, right? But and and it's okay. It's freedom of speech, and you know they're they're entitled to it. But reparation, the idea of standing on the idea, the idea of standing on the idea of reparation in two thousand, in this year two thousand nineteen, to give back trillions of dollars, give not even give back, but give trillions of dollars to the to the labor party of the past, the black Negroes that worked for their. For their take, whatever, whatever the history is, right? What are you going to do? You're going to give back. You're going to start everybody who came in, every immigrant that came to the country and and had a struggle and fight. Uh, we're going to everybody's going to get paid, pay pay immigration. But that beyond that, right? It's more of a play. I'm telling you what it is, right? Conti is telling you what it is. It's a play to the blacks that say, "Oh, reparation! I love it. Free. It's free money to me because I'm black." Because of the color of my skin, I'm going to get paid. I'm going to get paid. And that's, you talk about a welfare state, right? That's going to help me. Or they're going to give me land. They're going to give me land and I'm going to take it, right? Or we're going to, we're going to push the white man out of the cities. That's what Farrakhan is talking about. Does it sound racist? Do I sound racist talking about it? No, it's pointing it out. You're pointing out racist policies. And you've got two top contenders, right? They're saying Camilla Harris is the number one. You think the middle, you think that thinking smart people, once they realize well, who this asshole is, are going to vote for this person? Are you kidding me? Right? Or, or now, now Pocahontas is on board with this as well? I mean, these people are crook. They're creeps, right? Anything to, anything to, to, to try to try to rig an election or win an election or bring people over to their side. Give them a trillion dollars in tax money, taxpayers' capital. It's, it's like totally ridiculous. Uh, Marius Conti reporting. <laughs>